Hey guys, it's Vinny Lambo here, and today I'm going to be telling you guys how to get Fortnite on three monitors, or just more than one. Uh, it can be six, it can be 11, I don't care, but I'm going to be doing three. So, let's get right into it. It's actually really fun. So first off here, uh, head to your desktop and right click anywhere, and select NVIDIA Control Panel. That is the settings tab where you're going to be configuring the resolution, how many displays you're going to be using, and which displays you're going to be using. So once you head over there and once I actually drag it onto my right desktop here, you can see that all my monitors are checked, so make sure yours are checked on the top. Then click surround spanning options, that's what it is. So then head over there, then at the top you got to check the box that says span displays with surround, then click configure. Then you'll head over to this little window here where you're going to see your resolution that you're at, your refresh rate, and what it is. So if it's like, you know, one high and three across, or two high and two across, I don't know what it is. But for me, this is what mine is. Um, I'm running each monitor at 2K, so that's why the resolution is 7680. Make sure you click enable surround at the bottom of this little window here. That's actually going to turn it to surround. And as you're going to see, my window goes black here because uh, my screen recording had no idea what to do. But as you can see, this is what 7680 by 1440 looks like. It looks pretty sick, especially with this sick background that I got. It's actually 8K, so looks great on these three monitors. A few pros and a few cons. But one pro is that it looks pretty sick, and you can play games like Fortnite um, all across the three monitors. A bad thing is, though, is that as you can see on the left side, that is actually like my main like stuff, like where my taskbar is and where all my icons are. And with my little rain meter thing that says Monday, as you can see there in like the middle left. So that's one bad thing because it's actually not the middle. It takes it as like it's one long monitor. So the left corner of your leftmost monitor is going to be like your regular left bezel. Yeah, so you can open Epic Games Launcher, but that's what it looks like. It looks pretty stretched out as you guys can see. But before you head over to launching your Fortnite, you're going to want to go to your file explorer. So once you open your file explorer here, you're going to want to go to your local disk C. Then once you go there, you're going to want to hit your users, go to the user that you're using, then go to app data, local, then find the Fortnite game file, saved, then you're going to go to config, then Windows client, and then under game user settings, before you open it, you're going to want to right click, properties, and make sure it read only is unchecked. Then once you open it up here, you'll scroll down a little bit until you get to two sets of settings where it says resolution X or resolution Y, and then last user confirmed resolution X and then last user confirmed resolution Y. You're going to make each of those, well in my case, 7680 by 4320. The math is a little different in this sense because you're going to be multiplying your actual monitor's display resolution by three so for mine is 2560 by 1440 times 3, that's what it is. So for most people there are 1920 by 1080, that would be like 5320 by like 3240 or something like that. Do the math yourself, X is the bigger one, Y is the smaller one. That's some good advice right there. Once you're done with that, you're going to want to go into the top left, file, save, then X out of that, and then right click on the file again, go to back to properties, check read only, hit apply, hit OK, and you can X out all of that, and then we can head into Fortnite. Triple monitor, review. Wow. First off, I mean, you could just tell that like everything is just like really kind of stretched. I mean, the, the main monitor is not that much different. Um, you know, there's really nothing on it besides for a guy. Uh, everything that's supposed to be on this left side of the first monitor is on the left side and everything that's supposed to be over here is over there. So it's it's kind of weird, but I mean, I guess you gotta get used to it. Yeah, so that's what I was thinking. So your materials, your minimap, and your weapon slots are all on the very right side. And just your little health bar and your ping is in the top left. Very interesting. Um, that's good because your main monitor is clear. But it's bad because uh, you have to look left and right, you know, if you want to see little things. So on the, uh, the actual game capture, um, you can't tell us, but when you're watching the, uh, the real life camera, you can definitely tell that the bezels are making life 
a little bit different because it's like okay let's take this pistol for example right here see this pistol right here so if I put it between the two bezels it just turns into some sort of like long-nosed deagle it's I mean like it's not you know of course it's not meant for that um, Another thing that I noticed is that stuff on the two side monitors tend to appear a little bit stretched, which is not a bad thing. I think it's just trying to replicate, like, you know, your circular view from your eyes. <laughs> I mean, you can't, you can't, can I even, can I build it? Oh, what the heck. Oh, that is weird. Okay, that's very interesting. Are you kidding me? <laughs> uh... I just want to build. Alright, now I'm literally just going to get all the mats and I'm just building. I don't care about the weapons. The way that the two side monitors are stretched actually might make the game look a little bit better uh, compared to if it was just like regular on all three monitors. I feel like now it's kind of like if I'm looking there in real life, you know, it's not going to be like completely straight. I don't know, it's weird to what the, what the heck is, what is, what is happening? <laughs> What? Wait, is this like the New Year's ball? But it's not even. It's like one in the afternoon. <laughs> no, what? Wait. <laughs> what the heck? It's not even New Year's yet. There's a llama in the 2019 thing. What in the world? Why did that happen? It's like. It's the middle of the day. <laughs> what? Um, okay then. Happy New Year's, everybody. <laughs>